I am a fan of Golden Hoops. Last night in Texas for the G League, Long Island Nets. Tonight for the Brooklyn Nets. Wade sticks it from long range. 25 for Dwayne Wade, 11 rebounds. Wade peaks at the clock. And Wade is going to dribble it out. The end of an era in Miami. Dwayne Wade's illustrious 16-year NBA career comes to a close in Brooklyn. They have formed a circle around those four and the bond that they share. So as Wade and his friends huddle up for pictures, Get it to Kobe. Again, Utah has no timeout, so they have to foul. And Bryant will come to the line for a 60-point game. the floor with Hayward. 13 seconds left. Hayward on the drive. Layup no good. Rebound gets in the hands of Kobe. Throws it ahead to Clarkson. And Clarkson will dunk it. 4.1 to go. Timeout Utah. Talking more about an Hawks Live post game is the fact that the end. Vince is getting ready to check back in so the fans get their wish. But the news is that the NBA has announced tonight that it has suspended its season until further notice. Now we'll have more details coming up in Hawks Live post game. So Vince gets back in and this is going to go out on the floor. Free throw is good. 136 to 128. They're going to give it to Vince. He's going to take a three and hit it. Even the Knicks are applauding. New York dribbles out the final seconds. Vince Carter leaves the floor a hero. Nailing the three-pointer, hugs all the way around, and the Knicks have the victory, 136 to 131 in overtime. Well, they got him in the game, and a great way to end this here tonight. Vince Carter, in his 22nd season, buries the three. As New York gets the win, 136 
to 131. Post game wrap up is next. Stay with us on Fox Sports Southeast Hawk Live, presented by Nissan, right after the break. If somebody else shoots at me besides him. <laughs> Over you, Banks. Oh, wow. I'm on a beautiful feed, and it's a 13-point game. Timeout, OKC. Slowly chipping away. Tim Duncan, with his best game of the series, he's got 19. Oh, oh, Look at done. those numbers. said it before, he wins with grace, he loses with class. What a spectacular turnaround in this series by OKC as Tim Duncan walks off the floor, perhaps for the final time of his illustrious career. And off the speed, Smith, Rick Felton battling. That's the kind of tenacity they need more of. Pierce on the tape. That they need they need to score on the ball whether, whether the three ball is good for them or not afternoon said that he was having some intrusive thoughts about his season ending he didn't want to go give those thoughts look back at the career of paul pierce who will probably be in a uniform for the last time the utah jazz will close out the los angeles clippers remarkably the home team in this series is going to win three games on the road, the visitors will win three in this series. Well, Paul Pierce, we all know, one of the truly great players ever to play this game, a sure Hall of Famer, 22 points a game throughout his career, 45% shooting. Today, though, belongs to Quinn Snyder and the Utah Jazz, who get their first playoff series victory since 2010, a team that was too young, too inexperienced, too injured a season ago has rallied on the road and done what only 20 percent of road teams have done historically the nobly's got david west on the switch here his former teammate and he got to the rim on the right side well he forced him right and that's what you have to do i know what you're all thinking is this the final game for manu ginobili He's made of magic. There's just no other explanation for Manu Ginobili. At 40 years old and nothing left to prove in this game, he just never quits. A superhero in silver and black. Uno. Mas. Manu. Forever. You have Manu Ginobili, who's been the heart and soul. So proud to have played with those two. and. It's important in the sense that, you know, how far we've gone and what we've accomplished together.